show you guys the baseball cards, Hall of Famers and All-Stars I pulled from an estate sale from last week. I went to with my father in New York, an insane amount of baseball cards. I'm going to do this in two, actually three parts. So look for parts two and three either tomorrow or over the weekend. Here is part one. And we're going to start off with hammering Hank Aaron. He recently passed away uh, just a few months ago, too, sadly. 755 home runs. So very cool to uh, find a good stack of Hank Aaron's at this estate sale. Now, not all are in dead mint condition. There's going to be, you know, some uh, edges that are a little bit rough. Some cards are miscut. Some cards uh, don't have even borders. But overall, I'm very happy with the cards that I pulled out from this place. Probably one of my best scores of sports cards was at this home in New York on Friday of last week. I also ran out of uh, nice protective holders, so I have to order a new shipment. So parts two and three that you'll see tomorrow or the next day over the weekend will be cards and penny sleeves, but a lot of them I will also be putting in nice holders as well too to keep them in better shape and condition. But just absolutely, absolutely so cool to find this many Hank Aaron cards at one estate sale. Some of these I will send into PSA to get graded. I'm waiting for a uh, bulk submission that I sent in literally September of last year and they're still grading them so hopefully I get in my uh, bulk submission of uh, Griffey Jr. cards and Randy Johnson. Uh, I sent in Larry Walker, Ted Simmons and uh, Derek Jeter so hopefully I get those back soon. Yogi Berra 1958 tops. Also cool to find a bunch of uh, Roberto Clemente cards too. 1969 tops. I think that I got uh, either three or four of these. That's two. Here's three. Four. 69 tops. So like I said, the condition of these cards range from uh, VGX and um, there's going to be some near mint ones. I would not say that any of these are gem mint 10s, but overall to find these vintage cards like this out in the wild, super, super rare to find them at an estate sale. More Roberto Clemente. And some of them are multiples of cards, so that's cool too. Nineteen seventy-one tops. A very tough year with the uh, black border that would chip so easily. Andre Dawson rookie card, seventy-seven tops. His second year card, with the tops trophy logo, seventy-eight tops. Dennis Eckersley, rookie. Carlton Fisk, rookie. A little beaten up on the uh, bottom edge there, but still super cool to find that. And his second year card. I got two of those. Steve Garvey, rookie.
and uh, we got 87 tops of the Junk Wax era Bo Jackson. Luckily, there are not many Junk Wax cards. Um, I am a more of a vintage card collector, so very happy to find cards from uh, 1980 and earlier. All right, then we go over here. This was awesome to find. Reggie Jackson rookie card. Not one, but two of them. So I was a little bit bummed out because uh, this one is fine on the back. But this Reggie Jackson card, it looks pretty decent on the front. But then look what happened to the back. So bummed out by that. But, you know, I'll put this on eBay or maybe someone might want this. And uh, we'll see if I sell that or not, even though it's damaged on the back. More of Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. Don Larson. Mickey Mantle, the Mick. 1962 tops. 71 tops, one Marischal. This is a cool one here. The Catch, Willie Mays. I like that one a lot. Jack Morris, rookie card, 78 tops. Joe Morgan. Seventy-eight tops. Eddie Murray rookie card. This is one of the toughest cards to find. Well centered, I know that. So, uh, getting like a nine or a ten, especially getting a ten, is almost impossible. I'm sure that there are a few that exist out there. Anyway, this is by no means a nine or a ten. That might be probably a five or a six at best couple of uh, second year cards of Eddie Murray. These ones, the corners are kind of fairly sharp, which is nice. Let me get another one over here of Eddie Murray. Paul Molitor rookie card. 79 tops. I think it is. Actually, no, I, I think his first card is from 78. But uh, I'll have a look that one up. It's either his, his rookie card or his second year card. Second year card of Thurman Munson. I was hoping to find his rookie card in the uh, albums that I purchased, but uh, no such luck on that. But still very cool to find a couple of cards of Thurman Munson in there. Dale Murphy rookie card. Jim Palmer, 71 tops. It's so tough with that black border, how it chips so easily. Jim Palmer again. Now we're into Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan. We have a nice little stack of Nolan Ryan cards here. So cool to find vintage ones of Nolan Ryan. Look at that. This one's a real nice clean one. 81 tops with him with the Astros. More vintage Nolan Ryan ones here. Real nice stack of them. So if you guys see a card here that you like, message me, um, send me a comment, and we can work out a deal. Eventually I'll start putting these on eBay too. Uh, Roy Sievers. I think this is 1963 tops, I believe. 
Yes, 63 tops. 1959 Enos Slaughter. He passed away recently too, Tom Seaver. Tom Terrific. Willie Stargell. This is the uh, 1977 Topps Cloth sticker. There was a 77 Topps regular issue and this is the special cloth sticker one. Ricky cards, two of them, of Bruce Souter. Relief pitcher in the Hall of Fame. He recently passed away too, Don Sutton. There's Don. A couple cards of Don. Getting down near the end. The great Ted Williams. Splendid Splinter. Him as manager with the Senators. That's card two, three of those. 71 tops. 72 tops, Ted Williams. Second year card of Dave Winfield. Third year card of Dave Winfield. Yes, Carl Yastrzemski. Two rookie cards of Robin Yount. And the last one is, if this were to come back as like a nine or a 10, these checklists can be worth a lot of money. This is a 1971 Topps checklist, again, with the tough black border. So be sure to check out my eBay store treasures of my home. If you guys see a card here that you like, message, comment, and we can work out a deal. Thanks for watching, guys.